And right here, Tully Blanchard with James J. Dillon in Philadelphia. You know, it's been a while since I've been to the Philadelphia Civic Center. But you know, you think back since the National Wrestling Alliance has been in town, and you think of the battles that Dusty Rhodes and I have had in the past. Well, you know, this one's not going to be any different, except there's some added incentive. You know, I once held that world's television title. I made it something that people could look up to and be proud of. Now, Dusty Rhodes, I'm not going to say you used a chair when you beat one of the horsemen, Arn Anderson. I'm not going to say you broke the rules because you got to walk out with that world's television championship around your waist. But you hold that belt up and you want everybody to look at the American dream that's going to last forever. Well, Dusty Rhodes, that's fine. You can think what you want. But the Philadelphia Civic Center, I got dues to give you from the horseman and from Tully Blanchard. Because you know, Dusty, you, know, <laughs> you think back when I went on my little clothes buying spree in Kansas City, what happened to you? And two days later, you lost that gold that was so proudly put around your waist that you took from another horseman that went right back to flare. Because Dusty Rhodes, anything you got and you've taken illegally from the four horsemen always comes back real quick, whether it be to the same one or to another one. If Arn Anderson was to beat you, that'd be great. But I've got the contract written. It's me that you got to walk down that aisle in the Philadelphia Civic Center and wrestle for the world's television title. And you got the dues to pay because you cheated with the chair. And I tell you what, Dusty Rose, just think, I might take your leg completely off this time in Philadelphia. 